generic greetings and welcome back to some more trains once again in the rail valley demo build number five alpha which is something i showed about a week ago as of the time recording and a couple of people commented saying D do you want to play more would you like to show some more what do you think it's a vr game about trains of course more trains okay so um what we're going to be doing is we're going to attempt to do some of the objectives well really just one of them because there are objectives to complete where you have to shunt cars around and things like that. You have a certain time limit and as of yet I've not managed to do it. I'm about probably about two and a bit hours into this uh, demo and just I've sort of saw I've sort of seen most of what it has to offer. But there's a couple of things I haven't done. Firstly, I haven't went around the entire track, so I'm gonna do that. And also I wanna try and do the objective. So let's just crack straight and into it. So we'll press a button and we'll click start and we will uh, get straight and into this one if it actually loads. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, inside, uh, in, in seated mode, obviously. So we have a job list here, and the job list is to get red, white, and blue to the Y3 destination before 12. So we've got 33 minutes, just like Battlestar Galactica, to uh, complete this one. And if we look at our Derail Valley rolling stock starting positions, we can see that there is actually a red white and blue plus some other change on the back there on y4 we start at y3 so we need to get those three pieces those three cars uh pretty much where we start so the cars we're looking at is probably the ones over there and i think that's right let me just have a quick look around nope we are at the fire end so we need to go forward so yeah everything's set and we'll just go forward no break and uh, we'll just give it we'll just do a gently move forward there so we want to go past, there's a lot of rolling stock obviously all around us, but I think the one we're looking at is that one there. Uh, there definitely, definitely needs to be a way to zoom in. Uh, binocular, like a, a pair of binoculars will be fantastic in this one. Um, just any, any way of doing it, because the main thing I've found is it's switching these is very very difficult especially at long range and well even with cars in the way it's a problem as well which obviously is a problem in real life but um, you know at least you would have a better visibility. Obviously in VR you've got um, it's technically bigger resolution than the monitor, but it's uh, there's our uh, blue, white, and red. So that's the cars we want there. Uh, technically, it's um, it's better, but it, the the actual visible range is not. So I can't see. It's a lot clearer on, from your point of view than mine. So I can see, for example, this here. That is where I can actually start reading the the uh, the text on that and the numbers. Anyway, let's just pull this back and we'll put a bit of break on. So we need to be on uh, that one there. So we need to go left and then into that one. So we're going in there. We're going in that one. All right. So we need to put a brave break on. Go over here. So we need to make sure that we are switching that one there. Yes, we are. So we're coming down here for the laser line. We need to back up. We need to go into that one there. Now, the problem is that one of these is broken. Uh, that one there. That one's broken, actually. That there is broken, I think. Uh, so we need to be careful about that one. So we need to go to the right of that one. Okay. That's fine, I think. What I'm going to do is back it up. Uh, no, actually, what I'll do is I'll make sure this one is switched. I'll probably have to go forward. Okay. Bit of power. And we'll roll past here. There we go. Now, because this is a, there's about a 10 degree gradient on this one, what will happen is we'll get to a certain point and then we'll start rolling back. I think we'll put the brake on there. Go back over. So we're going to go right there. So we're gonna actually going to go along there. That's not right. We need to go left and then right hang on yeah left and then right I think that's okay right let's try that break off power okay so keep an eye on the roll we should take a left here and go straight ahead this is the thing is it's a bit difficult to gauge exactly where you're going um, if I actually read the map, though, it'd probably be give us a better idea. We need to just go to Y4. Ah, oh, actually, we are going into the wrong one. That's bad. We need to be on that one because the map tells us so. But at least we're not going to crash. He says, "No, we should go straight ahead." Yes, we're fine there. Okay, right. So fine. So brake. Forward. Go. 
So we need to be on the next one, according to this map. So we can actually just give it the old switcheroo now. Uh, actually, we'll do it on the way back. So this one needs to go that the other way. We technically can switch it now, and we should be able to just connect up. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So break. Reverse. Give it a bit of reverse. And there we go. So we should be going down there. So we're going down to the right. Yep. And then we need to take the next left. Then the next left after that. That should be correct. Left. And then left. Two of these are left. Okay. Let's let's go with that. Take a left here. We want to be left again. Yes, correct. So we should be heading towards this stock. Yes, we are. What time we're on? 42. That's fine. All right, so a feather the brick. All right. Careful, careful. And a bit of throttle. Bit of throttle. Come on. That's it. Just watching out for the bumpers here. And... Contact. Okay, so we will couple. But, one, two, three, uncouple. Because we only want the first three cars. Right. Forward. Take up the strain. And there we go. Can't see what colour cars we got, but let's just keep going. Get me out. That looks about right. Yes. Yes, we have the right colours. There we go. Spot on. So, we need to make sure that we go into the right place. So we need to go that one. We need to be in this one here, you see? See that one? We need to be in that one there. That's number three. So that one has to be switched to right. Okay, yeah. And that one has to be switched to right, which it is. And this one up here has to be switched to the other way. That way. It's fine. So that technically... That technically should be us. So... <laughs> Not te te technically. Technically, if he's got it correct. Hyperbole, more like. Okay, so we'll give it a bit of brake, and you can see... Well, hopefully we've tied the rest of the air brakes in. That's brake. Now, if I just take that off and leave it, we'll start to roll backwards. That's because we're, haul we're hauling three cargo containers. Yep, yeah, and that should start taking the left. None of what I've just said is going to work, is it? Bit of break. Hang on. Now it should take left. Yes! 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 There we go. Come on. And then we should go to the right. <laughs> okay. I think it's working. Break off. Because we might have to start pushing it here. I'm just hoping I've got that last switch right, because otherwise I'm going to derail this, because I'm going to go into number two, which is disused. Um, well, it hasn't been a bang yet. So that's always good. That That's looking okay. One. Two. There's your dis disused bit. Three. Eight minutes left. Y3. Currently on Y3. Y3 is where we start. Yeah. That should be it. Quick. That just appeared out of nowhere, that bit. <laughs> Couple of glitches in this one. Like I said, the main the main issue at the moment for me is, is the not ability not to be able to look further. Um, I don't think a zoom in would be... I don't know, it might be disorientating, but actual, an actual pair of binoculars where you look like that might be better. But I don't know. I, I, I'm no VR developer, am I? Or any sort of developer. So... 
I don't know how far we need to go with this one. So, quite frankly, let's just see if we can leave it here. So, change it to that. Is that correct? Is that done? Doesn't say. Doesn't say. What we'll do then is we'll shunt it. We'll shunt it until it says complete. Or it derails. Because I have no idea. They've never completed it. But this is track three, right? I believe it's correct. We've got to hit the barrier. Well, we'll wait for a clunk and then we know we've touched it. Come on. No throttle, just under its own weight here. Two minutes. I mean, I'm waiting for a big bang and I really don't know if that's... The right course of action. See, they're not at the edge of the line, they're about right. But... I mean, is that is that done? Or will it get to... Oh god, that's back, back. Ooh. Assignment one. Okay. Yes! We've done it! it right, so it's just completed. Once the time clicks over, that's all it is. We've done it! Success. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good to do a very, very simple task that's made hard because I can't see very far. Okay, so, next job would be shunting job. Uh, deadline would be 10 to 2. Loads of time. Destination M2. Destination M2 is there. Um... M2 being there, however, there's a problem. As you can see, shunting job requires two, four, six, seven yellow carriages and three blue. We're gonna have to piece it together. Yeah. Yeah, so we'd have to shunt around here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'd have to go to Y1 that one there, we'd have to pull forward that red car, we'd have to dump it somewhere, doesn't really matter where, probably, probably Y3 actually, we could leave it there, we'd have to then do the same with Y4 and shunt it there, then Y5 will pull that back, we'll back up to Y4, pick that up, go back, back up to Y1, pick that up, and then we need three blue which is there, there and there. That's why it takes so long, <laughs> that's why it would take ages and beyond the scope of this video, so what I'm going to do now quite frankly, is just have a bit of a bit of a drive around, so oof, drop the thing, let's give it about a medium there we go, so we can put these back, we're not going to be using those anymore that was fun, that was actually really fun doing that, like I say, it's sort of tainted by the fact that I can't really see it very well, but this is why it's a demo, so I don't really want to, I'm not hating on it, I'm just, you know passing comment about the slight issues that it may have there we go but it's overshadowed by the fact that A, it existing exists, and B, um, you know, it generally just works. So, um, that's wrong. I want to go to the, probably, I want the map, you see. Map there. There we go. Let's put all them back. Oh, close enough. What we're doing. Probably a bit too fast. Go. It says 40. 30. Bang on the money. That's fine. When you put your head out. Dung. Okay, so we are currently uh, going past. We're currently coming around this curve here. We've got. Oh, are we actually? No, that line there is that. Is that line there, you see? So we're coming around here. This is the other disused bit. And we're going to come around. We're going to go up through the forest and across this bridge. 
Now, I've the couple of places I've not been. I've not been in A or O, but I have been to M, and that's where I derailed in the last episode. But what I haven't done is crossed that bridge there. So I'm guessing we cross that bridge there, and then we go sort of round the mountain and through that way. So that'll be a nice, interesting thing to see. So, a bit more large. There we go. Probably put it on about maybe 10% throttle. It seems to position itself. See that? So that'll be jumping into like a... I think it's like five settings. Oh no, it might be more. Anyway, fine corner. A little bit of a hoot. And we'll go around what we're doing. Bang on 50. Uh, what am I going to do actually? I'm going to switch this point. Because we went around that time last time. We'll go here and... Ooh, well that shook a little bit. Quite a tall train, but the centre of gravity will be quite low where the engine is. He guesses. There's the back of train. Sorry, not train, engine. Um, and that sign. See, I can't read that sign. I'll tell you when I, when I can read it. Now, 50. That's when I can read it. That's the distance. So you notice the uh, difference in uh, what you can see. And this corner's going to look a bit... It's looking a bit uh, sharpish. There we go. And this bridge does say 70 if uh, memory serves. Oh, hang on. Back over there, mate. <laughs> 70, yeah. I love the sound. <laughs> and you put your head out as well. Oh! Ka-dung! ka -dung. Dung! Oh, lovely noises. <laughs> Uh-oh! Ka-dung! <laughs> as your head comes off. Don't, don't stick your head out of a train. <laughs> I believe they have lots and lots and lots of stickers to tell you this. Uh, there's the hill that is encroaching on our track. We are going to go left because that is a wily e. coyote tunnel. I don't think you can go through it. There's certainly no points. That says 30 as well. Um, going that way though. We're not going that way. But we are doing uh, close to 60 here. So probably a bit too fast for my liking. But we'll, we'll give it a bit of throttle there. We need to just keep it going at a fairly steady pace. Obviously we're mainly using the brake to when we go down. But this is very undulating ground and that's sped up a bit faster than I put it on for some reason so we are now going to go hopefully left but I didn't check it uh, yes the points are I just saw the track the track should be left yeah that's fine so we've been in there before however we are now sort of going on new ground this is where I backed the things up and it, it didn't go well at all so uh, yeah let's just see how far we get because this is going to be new territory it should uh, hopefully look quite nice because we're going to go down and around, so we'll have to be very close to the brake and stuff like that. Um, I know a couple of people mentioned in the uh, in the comments last video asking like what sort of things this is for. I think it went through it, but I'll go through it again. Uh, currently supports the uh, officially the HTC Vive. However, I am using the Oculus Rift with touch controllers. It's working perfectly fine. I'm assuming any other VR stuff, if it uses uh, the Open VR gear anyway, it'll be all it'll be all fine. Um, but obviously, it'll just uh, your mileage may vary and stuff. There are a couple of issues with this one, but it's. It, it works. Demo, it works. Not really going to knock it. Official uh, early access release, I believe, is going to support the Oculus Rift as well as the HTC Vive. And I could be wrong, but maybe mouse and keyboard upon that early access release. And obviously, then it's progressing through to the other stuff as well. In terms of modes and trains and maps and such, I've had a quick browse. I, I couldn't really tell you all the details, but links are, as always, in the description so you can uh, check it out yourself. So, anyway, we've got a bit of a blind curve, so we'll give it one of those. And, oh, God, that just fell through the floor. And um, we are. Going across a bridge, 40. Uh, good enough for government work. Oh, hang on. That's bad. That's a tunnel. That's a tunnel. That tunnel doesn't look fake, you know. I'll tell you what also doesn't look fake. <gasps> Just don't like that. <clears throat> Oh, not a big fan of that. Ooh. <laughs> nah, you're fine. Okay. Um, is this a Wily Coyote tunnel? We're going to find out. I think that, I think we can go through that, you know. Lights on. Actually, we'll turn the lights off. Wow. 
<laughs> yep, tunnels are in here. Oh, the sound as well! What's the horn gonna sound like? Yeah, a bit, a bit disappointing actually. I don't know if it's different. Oh, there we go. Ah, yeah, it's when we got further in. Spot on. And sweet. There are tunnels in the game. We've now got some nice mountains, more trees. <laughs> Been hit by a shrubbery. Um, it looks like we are slowly going downhill, so a bit of break on this one. It's called Derail Valley. Are we going to come across another tunnel? Yeah. 30. Yeah, you have to really be careful with this break. Keep an eye on your speed. Lights off. Lights on. Question is... Yeah, hang on. What's this one do? Yeah, it's rear light. I think that's rear light. Hang on. Off. Yeah, it's rear light. And actually, we're getting some speed up here. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. That's better. Let's uh, put a bit of brake on. Never. Yeah, you would never want to do this. So, lights off. If I go back, no lights. Uh, what's that one? Is that rear lights? No. I thought that was rear lights. That must be lights. Yeah, that's forward and rear lights. So, what's that one do? Cab lights? I don't know what that one does. It's not even labelled. It might not do anything. I also realise just how how burnt is that? High voltage. That. No, uh, doesn't contain voltage. Nothing. Nothing. And ooh, secrets. Secret things. Yeah, it's there's something in there. <laughs> there is actually something in there. Oh, there's some stickers as well. Does that say oil? I can't really read it. Yeah. Anyway. Back to the driving of the trains. Oh, look at that. In a tunnel. I'm going to put the light. Are the lights already on? I think they are. Uh, hang on, why can't we move? There we go. There. Uh, uh, sorry, I moved the chair. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to recent the view here. <laughs> uh, recent the view. There we, there we go. Hang on, have I, have I done a Yui? I think I might have turned the entire camera around. Oh god, it's all oh it's all gone to pot. Oh god. Uh Aha! That's better. Yeah, I turned the I turned the chair completely round. I got well confused in that one. Okay, recent the view. There we go. Right. So back. Yay, we can now control it. Okay. Yeah, this um this is nice. So lights off. Oh lights on. Even better. Just listening to the noise in here. It is a proper VR experience. With trains. Okay. Right. And also, look at the pipe under there. Look how dirty it is as well. Ugh. Filthy. Right. So, we need to go. Um, you know what I could do for the remainder of this one? Uh, put this back to normal. I reckon. Room scale mode. Right, chair. You can disappear. We're actually going to do the train standing up. So, this is the room scale mode. So, my room scale is... Ah, chair. Um, <laughs> don't do this on the fly. So, room scale. Yep, yeah, that's pretty much all of that. Yeah, I can get most around here apart from the chair, which is currently there. That's the chair. So, let's not bump into that. But we don't need to care about that, really, because it's just around here. I'll, uh, I'll recenter the view. There we go. Hang on, that's all kinds of bad. That's that's not recentered at all. Recent of you. There we go. Okay, that's better. I can now actually control the trim without crashing into things. So yeah, this is the standy up mode. And it's exactly like you would expect. You're just standing it standing and driving the train. So it's good that you can do both. I'd probably recommend the seating. I think the seating option is a bit better. my head out of the... No, I can't put my head out the window. 
then lights off, don't want to waste power. Still don't know what them switches do, or that one there, but hey-ho. Just uh, choo-chooing along at 50, 55. That looks like a not 55 corner. In fact, that does uh, quite clearly 30. And we should be back at... Never fails. We should be back here. Yes, there we go. Hang on. Red, white, and blue. That's where we started. We actually started on there. Because we went forward, came back, went the wrong one, went back forward again, came back, connected cars, uncoupled from... Uncoupled from the yellow car. There should be one yellow car. It might be that one there. No, it can't be. It might be up ahead. There's one yellow car that we... Uh, there should be a blue and yellow car somewhere. And then we pulled forward and... Uh, came that way. Yeah, we're going right. That's fine. So looking for a blue and yellow car. It's not that one. Could be in between these. There. There's your blue. And the yellow behind it. That's where we pulled the rest of it off and then reversed back. Cool. And we'll put the brake on for the last time. That has been a bit more of Derail Valley. I think I've showed you pretty much everything that there is to see. Obviously, you can do more jobs and things like that. Um, I've probably got about three odd hours on this demo now. Enjoying, enjoying it immensely. Well, enjoyed it immensely. I don't like to say, I don't think I'm going to play much more of this. But from what it is, fantastic. Cannot wait for the proper release to come out. I will certainly be playing a lot of that um yeah it, it just works i mean i've just shown you a bit of the room scale stuff so i'm standing up moving around um you know a bit impromptu by going into a chair and such but hey ho it just shows you how much it just works um it's <laughs> it is immersive uh the controls are simple but you know enough to get by obviously when the game comes out hopefully we'll see more controls and options and switches and all this sort of thing and all that immersion stuff that'd be fantastic Imagine having a multiplayer and actually having the engineer and conductor. No, no, no. Let's, let's not. Let's let's not be silly. Let's not. Let's not dream. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Links in the description so you can check the game out and all the details and stuff like that. Because, um, well, you may want to do that. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. Littering. Oh, all oh, right. So, the, so the glass is solid, but the floor ain't. <laughs>